Hi. We have received your inquiry about diabetes surgery at Wokard Hospital. Let me clarify a few points before you contact us. The first and the foremost is this surgery is for type 2 diabetes. It has a very limited or no role in type 1 diabetes. So if you or your patient has got type 1 diabetes, please do not consider this surgery for the treatment. The second is, though this surgery works for all type 2 diabetics, the current guideline says that this surgery should only be offered above 27.5 BMI. That means you should be around 7 to 10 kg overweight, then only we can offer you this surgery. So if you are absolutely normal weight, then uh, please do not consider this surgery given the current guidelines. We expect guidelines to change in few months, but at the moment we can only, we have this limitation. Now, how do you calculate your BMI? You can go on, a, on online and you can fill up your details in an online calculator and it will immediately give you your BMI. We generally consider your maximum weight. So if your maximum weight, uh, by that calculation, your BMI is 27.5, you can contact us for a consultation. Usually we offer this surgery uh, below 70 years of age. So if you are more than 70, uh, then on a case to case basis, we may consider but it is advisable uh, that uh, you don't uh, think of surgery uh, for diabetes. And I think the uh, a very important point is also about how surgery works. People have been asking me repeatedly at various places, what is this surgery, how this surgery works. This surgery is called metabolic surgery. This surgery reduces the amount of food you consume, but more than that, it changes the gut hormones and those gut hormone changes makes your insulin effective. So the primary pathology in diabetes is that the insulin that your body is producing is not working or what we call as insulin resistance. When this surgery is done, the insulin resistance reduces or disappears. And that is why the insulin becomes effective. And in most of the cases, all the medicines and insulin can stop. So these are the, the primary reasons why this surgery is offered for diabetes. After surgery, most of the patients stop insulin injections within a week's time. In some of the patients, it stops within two to three days time. And in almost all patients, the tablets stop within a month after surgery. So that is the kind of results that are seen with diabetes surgery. And obviously these medicines are only stopped if your sugars are normal. Now majority of the patients remain controlled. That means their glycated hemoglobin or HbA1c remains below seven for a long time. And almost 25% of patients will never need medicine in next 10 years. So I think uh, this is this is a big breakthrough. This surgery is not mandatory. It is optional for those who are not able to achieve good control or who are likely to have complications of diabetes. So many of you have asked for the cost of surgery. So if most of the diabetes surgeries are again covered under insurance, but there are criteria. So if your BMI is more than 35, then and you have uncontrolled diabetes, then this surgery is covered under insurance. But even if it, you are not covered under insurance, it is worth getting it done because the cost of the surgery is recovered within one to one and a half years if you, if you don't undergo surgery. So the cost of medicine and cost of surgery, uh, uh, they are at par within one, one and a half years. So I think it's a good option. If you feel that you qualify for this surgery, you can reach out to my team. Uh, if you are from outside Mumbai, they will be happy to fix up an online consultation and we can talk to you uh, through Zoom or WhatsApp. Or if you are in Mumbai or if you are traveling to Mumbai, 
uh, please fix up our appointment and we'll be happy to explain you in detail how this surgery works.